What's going on, YouTube? Beautiful day outside, isn't it? So, yeah, I want to talk about how I quit the 420. So, how I quit that good gas was maybe like back in 2013 I had decided that I wanted to do something different with my life you feel what I'm saying and uh, I didn't have a job I was staying with a young lady and I wasn't my best self so what I did was I, st I got on the internet started searching around on the internet seeing if it was somewhere I could go and uh to a, a rehab because I was smoking a lot and I end up running across this uh, th this outpatient place and uh, so they had a spot open I went to the program I was in a program for about three months and then I end up going to a transitional housing place after I finished the program it was actually, it was still in the program, but it was a part that was transitional housing. So I stayed there for a year. I ended up getting a job at a plant, a good job, probably making like $14. It was good at the time. I was like 26 years old. Um, I got the job. It was hard at first because uh, it was hard to understand the plant because I never worked in a plant. So it was hard to keep up, but, you know, then I ended up getting good at it. And then, you know. From there, you know, I moved up within the company. But I had quit smoking for at least a year. Because that was 2013. Uh, so I ended up getting my own apartment, getting a car and stuff like that. 2014 come around, then 2015 come around. 2015 came around. I called myself trying to... Uh, you know, make a little extra money on the side, give me some green. That turned into smoking again. You feel what I'm saying? So I started smoking again, and I smoked up probably for about nine or ten months. Then I quit, you know. I quit for about a year and a half, two years. Then I started back again, so I was going back and forth with it. And then, uh... You know, now I'm 30, I'm 35 right now. So at this point, from going back and forth with it all the way up until now, within the last year, I decided to just quit altogether. You know, because after you quit the first time and you have the willpower, you will understand that you got the willpower and you can do it. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why what I understood after quitting smoking the first time, I understood that I had good willpower and uh, that I could, uh, you know, basically quit. So, um, not only that, it don't, it don't only take willpower. It takes determination and having something to look forward to other than a job because people quit smoking for jobs, but then, you know, after they get the job or whatever, you know, they back smoking. So it was a personal decision for me and you know, I, like I said, I struggled with it back and forth. I relapsed, and you know how you know how I relapsed. It ain't the because you know a trigger for me is a lighter, you know, and stuff like that. But I relapsed because of you know I, I keep wanting to be a hustler, you know, and uh, that was becoming a problem for me, you know, trying to hustle and stuff like that. So I end up just putting that out of my life. And finding a purpose, another way I can make a lot of money instead of trying to be a hustler or something like that. And uh, so that's pretty much what happened for me in my life, you know. Uh, you know, it's not easy, most definitely. I had withdrawal symptoms. Now, my withdrawal symptom was when I, when I, the first week, I couldn't eat and it's hard to sleep. The first three days, you ain't gonna get, I ain't gonna get no sleep. And I don't eat for about a week and a half until my taste buds come back. Then I start back eating or whatever the case is. But uh, 
it's been about a year for me, and I, I feel my 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 hair feel clear. You know, my thoughts are together. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, it's definitely a different feeling from being high all the time. And, you know, being unmotivated, you know, because I talk about that a lot. You know, uh, marijuana for me, it helps me become an unmotivated man and not totally focused on my purpose and things that I need to focus on. So I pretty much have got that out of the way. But uh, it's still a struggle, you know. Sometimes I still think about it. And there's another thing, too. Substituting, you know, because you will quit smoking weed or whatever the case is, and then you'll substitute that for some food or alcohol, you know, something that is really not going to help you anyways. It's not helping you get over it. It's just basically just substituting it, and uh, you basically minimizing your problem once you start adding other things to the equation once you quit. So it's best just to be absent from everything. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, for me, another thing is it stays in my system for more than a month. You know, sometimes up to three months. So that's another thing that I don't like, you know, because, you know, once you quit, you want to start looking for jobs and you want to be a better this and a better that. But you got that stuff in your system. So now you got to go uh, try to fight the system, try to beat the system by, you know, getting uh, detox formulas and stuff like that. So um, other than that, man, just stay away from it. Find uh, some positive habits, you know, deep, dig deep into what you like to do. If you like to go carouseling, go carouseling. If you like to jog every day, do that. Whatever you got to do to exit those triggers away from you, that's most important. All right, y'all, my time up, so I appreciate y'all listening. Subscribe to my channel. I got a lot more game, you know what I'm saying? I've been around for a long time. I survived a lot, you know, so I got a lot more game for this channel. Just keep tuning in. I appreciate you. Love you. One.